What's up, everybody? It's Destroyers Exotics here, and um, I'm sorry I've been kind of MIA for about a month, but I've been kind of busy at work and going through some personal things. Um, but I thought I'd make another video, and I had some interesting things going on. I've been uh, doing a little bit of traveling, and during this traveling, my tarantulas have molted, and this is the first time I've ever caught one in the process of doing this. And all the time I've had tarantulas, I've never been able to capture it on videotape, but um, I caught this one fairly early. And as you can almost see here, it's flipped over and you can kind of see it pushing out there. This is my um, stripe knee tarantula. One of my newest tarantulas. I've only had it a couple of months and it fed pretty good and then uh, a couple weeks ago it stopped you know of course as they always do in pre-molt and I knew this was coming and just to focus on something different um, my salmon pink bird eater has also molted and there's the molt in the back kind of in the back here you can kind of see She's uh, molt, uh, she hasn't molted in a while, but um, that's kind of um, kind of a given. She's getting a little older now, um, getting kind of bigger. I'm gonna have to rehouse her because this is kind of getting kind of small for her. There you go. <clears throat> and her abdomen is obviously quite small. She took a lot of energy um, to molt this time, but, but a real successful molt. She's looking really good, and I'm honestly thinking, um, seeing if she's hungry. I don't know if she is or not, but um, she's got a live cricket in there, so I'm not sure if she's hungry just yet. Well, I might see if she'll take one of these um, larger super worms I've got here. I just want to see if she's hungry or not. She looks like she might be. No. Okay, well she's not hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this prey. That cricket I'll just leave in there. It's awfully small, it's a baby cricket. And I don't think it's gonna do anything to her. She's already molted and come out of it, so it'll only be a matter of time before she's hungry again. I just needed to know. Now I know. And let's go back to my stripe knee here. Still um, still in the molting process. Every once in a while we're gonna kinda pause and give her a little time. Very cool looking seeing a tarantula molt like this. Very alien looking. Yeah, that's cool. You can see her kind of pushing out there. That is so cool. Just kind of inching away bit by bit out of that skin. And looks like she's pushed herself just a little further out here. It's been about about 10 minutes or so since I paused it. Nice blue coloration. Things are nice and white. Looks like it's going well. And 
And I think while we're waiting on the stripe knee to complete the molting process, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Salmon Pink Bird Eaters Molt. Um, now that she's obviously attached and feeling better and walking around, I'm going to go ahead and, and get that out of there. Alrighty, so I pop the top here. I'm going to go ahead and slide the log up just a little bit using the tongs. She's probably not going to like that much. Oop, there she goes. I don't want her to fly. Put that cover right there just in case she decides to boogie on me. Yeah, kind of reach down there. Get the small out of there. Ooh, it's a little more difficult than it looks here. There we go. There it is, and kind of its crunchy little kind of glory. Up close look of that. You can kind of even see the fangs right there. Alrighty, and we decent little mold here. Just one last little look. Always want to make sure to remove these things when they mold. Alrighty, and it looks like she is almost all the way pulled out of there. Everything looks like it's going smoothly. Looks like we might get some action here. Looks like she's about ready to break free.
And there we have it, folks. He's, or she's finally um, flipped over all the way. And she's going to start walking around in here in a moment. And the molting went great. And this is the full and complete molt process. It's the first time, like I said before, it's the first time I've ever caught this on camera. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to slap that like button. Um, I'd appreciate it. And leave a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll also leave my, the links to my other social media in the description below. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.